Vom trece de la zona de mobile la o altă zonă de, să spun așa, trenduri și vrem să arătăm că totuși partea de display nu este pe moarte, ci pur și simplu se reinventează. Domnul Robert Pefanis, International Sales Director la Think Digital, va povesti despre noile formate Rich Media. Okay, good evening to everybody. It's, uh, Romania is becoming my second home. I mean, this year alone, I, I must have visited Romania, I mean, Bucharest, at least eight or nine times. But don't quote me on this, my Romanian sucks, for the time being at least, okay? Okay, I'm going to do this the traditional way. I'm going to show you uh, quite, uh, I believe, important stuff that will establish the use of rich media as something that is, that is a must for web campaigns and something I mean, through the use of, of rich media, we will, you, you will see, based on uh, findings from a media mind uh, survey that, that took place and I will show you, that rich media, I mean, using rich media ads in, in your campaigns and web campaigns will give you not only straightforward, uh, I would say, uh, action on, on, on behalf of the users, which would be translated in clicks, but it will also give you long-term and short and long-term results as well. I'm talking about post-impression clicks, post-impression visits, etc., etc. So, first of all, I'm, uh, among other things, I'm going to be, sorry, one moment. I'm occasionally going to be uh, uh, dropping in things about our, our industry uh, and uh, the way it's evolving. I mean. Obviously, we're all very lucky that we're in the web industry. On the one hand, so many brilliant things are happening. We saw some earlier today. I mean, Microsoft Bella Pap gave a very nice presentation about what is to come with Windows 8. And God knows what's taking place as we speak in all the research laboratories of you know, the, the very big uh, IT and internet companies. So I mean, th there's a lot to look ahead and uh, in, in this industry. On the other hand, though, The bad thing is that something that is significant today might be totally insignificant tomorrow. This means that, you know, all you guys, including myself, that are in this industry, have to keep up with, with uh, you know, the evolution in, in, in our industry. Anyway, so, talking about evolution, I mean, what's a characteristic of, 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 web, of web advertising? What has web advertising changed? Web advertising, and I would say this is the, the main change that has Um, I, I'd say the, the last 10, 15 years, is that we don't buy media or media titles anymore. We buy audiences. I mean, this has drastically changed the equation. And I would say, because there is a, 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 very, uh, a very heavy uh, proportion of, of, of planning takes place by people who are quantitative, I would call them the engineers of our trade, I could definitely say that from ad men, from people that you know deal with advertising, we have become more math men, which means that what? That quantitative skills are definitely important nowadays. But, and uh, I'm, I'm going to be discussing about this, creativity should not be out of the picture. Creativity is extremely important. And in the case of rich media and implementing a successful rich media campaign, you definitely need creativity to work for you. You need creatives, as we will see, and I, I have towards the end of the presentation, you need creatives that will grasp the attention of the user, that will make the user spend time with your banner ad, dwell time, as, as we call it, and I will explain further on. So, I, there are six points, I've, I've synopsized in six points what's happening in our market, which is, uh, as I said, based on the evolutionary state of, of the web uh, advertising market. First of all, we have a multitude of touch points. Think of tablets, think of, of mobile, the, 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 the presentation right before me about mobiles. Think of game consoles, okay? I mean, the, the, the second one, and to, to, to refer again to it, is that our, our trade is becoming more and more quantitative. We have all the data available, even more. We have the extra mile, I would say, of data available. We have to facilitate this data 
in order to get the target audiences that we want. But it's never been easier. The data is there. I mean, a, a third point is definitely the, 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 the social data layer and what's happening with Facebook, with Pinterest, et cetera, et cetera. It's definitely changed the way people communicate. Brands communicate with people, with consumers. Think of the fact that we're talking about stories now and storytelling. I mean, I, I've been in the, the media industry for 25 years. I started out as a, a print uh, media salesperson, newspapers. I mean, uh, expressions like storytelling didn't mean anything way back then. So it's changed. The whole, I would say, concept has changed. Automated media buying, real-time bidding, I mean, there are so many cases where the publisher never gets to know the advertiser and vice versa. Everything is done by a third, I mean, the most of, of, of the job is done by a third party, a sales house or whatever. Creativity on tech steroids. We will see, as I said, examples about how technology helps us offer so, mu so many things, so many images, so many stimulus, I would say, that would make uh, users spend time with our banner, spend time with our brand. And finally, it gets contagious. Think of television and how television is slowly adapting to ways of advertising sales and to the philosophy of the web. So things are changing in a nutshell. Poets first engineers. Just to synopsize what I was saying earlier, Engineers are the quantitative people in the equation in, in the web industry. But we don't only need the, them, obviously. We need people, we need the creative instinct, we need banners, we need rich media banners that will attract attention. And this is extremely important, as we'll see. Attract attention, and more than that, have the, you, the user of a website spend time with us. As we will see, it's extremely important for in, in terms of branding, in terms of awareness, and in terms of post-impression and post-click reactions. So dwell time is very crucial. I'll go back something like 25 centuries, and I'll quote Confucius about something, that he, something he said. Tell me and I will forget. Show me and I may remember, but involve me and I will understand. Okay, it's a bit far-fetched, I know, but think of the things that rich media can offer the user, the involvement, the engagement. If you're engaged, for example, I'll show you a case study with uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, launch. If, you're, if, if you engage with, with, the, with the banner, obviously you feel as if you know the product. You feel as if you want to buy this product or test drive it or whatever. And also a few stats to, uh, to make my case. We tend to remember, the average human remembers approximately 30% of what we see, 50% of what we see and hear, but apparently 70 to 90% of what we see, hear, and touch. So there it is again, engagement. And that takes me to dwell time. Now what do we mean by dwell time? Dwell time is the average number of seconds that a user of a site will be engaged with our ad. Our ad, and by engagement we mean either uh, putting his mouse on the ad, or watching a video, or uh, uh, in initiated, uh, as we will see, expansion, etc., etc. So, as we will see in a bit, the more engaged in, in terms of seconds, in terms of time period that a user is, the more, uh, and I would say, uh, in, in a mathematical way, the more prone he is to actually act on, uh, on the banner, on the campaign, and actually become a, a customer of the product. This is a very interesting, uh, I would say, uh, comparison between ad formats. The average floating ad gives you about 16 seconds of, uh, of engagement, of dwell time, as we say. But on the other hand, an expandable banner will give you more than a minute. So you have people, on average, spending more than a minute with your ad, fooling around or seeing what happens when I put my mouse over it. Okay, they're, they're yours, they're your clients, they're focusing on the, on, on the brand. If you, uh, 
if, if you put a video in your expandable banner, this makes things even better. So this uh, table shows the dwell time of having a non-video rich media banner, maybe an expandable one, and adding a video. You see that video is a bonanza, as they say. It gives an increase in dwell time of 83%. Okay, so let's just say a few, I would say, theoretical things about rich media ads and what we could use them for. They are favorite for, uh, among other things, brand building. They're good for uh, occasions such as, let's say, uh, concerts and uh, you wanting to promote this or a football game. And of course, for awareness campaigns. But also, and I know what is going in, in the mind of a lot of you guys, is whether, you know, things like uh, click-throughs and uh, ROI, etc., etc., are, are, are involved here. Rich media ads are also powerful. They're a powerful channel for performance advertisers who want to increase traffic and sales. And to get to, uh, to, to the description of what the study I mentioned earlier was about, MediaMind, which is an, an ad platform, an ad operating platform, and which I think digital represents in Southeastern Europe, uh, spent from July to December 2011 on this study. And the study, the, the aim of the study was to see the impact of rich media in communication. I mean, what, what difference, what the extra mile, as we say, does a rich media campaign offer to a client versus non-rich media ads? So just a few uh, statistics here, 24,000 creatives were analyzed, 12 billion impressions, and the site's visit were measured using landing page conversion tags. So what were the findings? First of all, site visits. By using a standard banner, you can see on the left, and by using rich media in the center and rich media with video, if we take video, as I said, which is a bonanza, okay, rich media with a video incorporated in the, the banner would give you six times a six-fold increase in site visits for the same campaign or a similar product. So this is something. This is the first major find. Post-impression site traffic. A rich media with video would double the, the visit post-impression in a post-impression stage. So not directly, not immediately, but in, in the, I would say, short term. And in terms of post-click, there would be a ninefold increase between how users would react, would act upon a banner after clicking. So I mean, these are the three most, I would say, representative uh, slides from the from the from the survey, and I'm, I mean you can see that these numbers definitely show that rich media plus video are a winning a killer combination. I would say, and you can see in this diagram that the more you get people stuck on your banner, the higher the conversion rate becomes. Okay, and I'll, uh, I'll be concluding what I've uh, been discussing with uh, a couple of actually four case studies with rich media ads. The first one is, sorry, we'll start with H&M. This is the uh, the Mercedes one, and you can see that there are so many things you can do without actually clicking and entering the website of Mercedes. You can have a look, for example, at the extra equipment that Mercedes offers. You can have a look, for example, for example, a customization of the car, car configuration, as we say. 
Okay, all in a banner, all in a rich media banner. I mean, I could not afford this car, but I'm sure that people that can afford a car like this would be fooling around with the, these applications, these rich media applications, and finding which color they would like to buy it, etc., etc., or which wheels they would like to, 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 to put on. Another interesting uh, campaign and a case study is for the, the, the Men in Black, the third uh, series of Men in Black. The, the, the creative also incorporated the video so we could actually see on the expandable banner, it's a Spanish ad, okay, the best scenes from the film. And all without clicking, without actually going to the website of the film. I don't know how your Spanish is, but I've seen the film in English, so I can get an idea what they're talking about. Okay, and last but not least is what Samsung did for the Galaxy launch. Okay, so it would give you six different areas with which you could fool around from videos to uh, actually rotation to see the, the actual product, which is this. And it would give you all the information necessary in one, through one, I would say, rich media banner. So, all in all, and uh, to give you some uh, bedtime reading, there is there is a very there's a very interesting site. It's the Creative Zone of me of a Media Mind. Okay, you can uh, it, the access is free, so you can download, you can check, you can read about very successful case studies from uh, Rich Media. So that's it from me. Thanks for uh, having me here. And I'm uh, at your disposal for any questions, if any, in English, please. Uh, please, yeah. I'm sorry. Could what do you mean, rich media? From what I know, you can't. No. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I think so. From from what I know, yes. But I'm I'm sure they'll get over this. I mean, it's a technical issue. So. Oh, it's 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 the effect of having you know lunch about an hour ago, and everybody's you know <laughs> slowly fading away. Anyway, thanks thanks for everything. My my email is. Uh, very, uh, are you going to be downloading, Johan? Are you going to be downloading these on uh, on on the website, on the YAV website, the presentations? Yes, if you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's agree. okay from me. Yeah. Yeah, so you okay. can get we'll extra information. You can contact me for anything you might want. Yeah, we'll share all the presentations. Well. Um. Okay. Thanks a lot again. Thanks.